Okay, so in this video, I'll firstly show you how to install a data-only eSIM and then one with voice and text. So if you do want to make or receive calls and text messages while you're abroad, then make sure to stick around till the end. We'll start with data, but first, make sure that your device is eSIM compatible. FlexiRoam has this list that you can check, which I'll link in the description box below. Next, you need to make sure you're connected to a stable Wi-Fi network. This is crucial because if the connection drops during installation, it could fail or even worse, the eSIM may be lost. Keep the FlexiRoam app open throughout the entire process because closing it could also cause the installation to fail. And finally, just ensure you have enough battery. I know it seems obvious, but the last thing you want is for your phone to run out mid-installation. So I'll assume you've already purchased your eSIM, but in case you haven't, just make sure to use our code when you check out so you can get a great discount. I'll also put a link in the description box below. Now, once you've purchased, you'll see this confirmation summary. And if you're ready to install, then just scroll down and select go to my plans. Here, we can either activate immediately or schedule our plan to start at a later date. So perhaps when you arrive at your destination. For the sake of this video, I'll just tap activate now. And once that's done, I'll tap my sims and then install and under activate new eSIM, I'll tap allow. And while we wait for this to connect, just remember with FlexiRoam, it's likely you'll only have to do this once because most of their plans work with the same eSIM. That means after you've installed and if you buy a new data only plan later on, you just go to the My Plan section of the app and either activate it immediately or schedule it to start at a later date. And this part of the installation can take a while. So it's very important to not close the app and try to remain patient because eventually this will appear and you can tap continue. And again, you may need to wait while the eSIM activates and connects, but once it's ready, you should see mobile plan setup complete and then you can tap done. First up, we have the default line. This is where we can choose whether we want to still receive calls and texts. And you'll see two options. One will be primary and the other, like me, might say business or it could be travel or personal or secondary. It doesn't really matter. Just remember that this one, the one below primary, is your new eSIM. And for the default line, I recommend selecting primary if you still want to receive calls and texts to your normal number. Also, this eSIM I'm installing doesn't come with calls and texts, so there's no point in me selecting it. Obviously, remember that if you were to make calls or receive them or send SMS messages while abroad, then your carrier may charge you a premium. But for emergencies or two-factor authentication, it could be important to keep this as primary. So go ahead and select continue. And now we'll choose whether we still want to receive iMessages and FaceTime. Again, I'm going to select primary because I still want people to be able to contact me this way. But don't worry, this doesn't mean your phone will be using your normal carrier for data. That's because on this next screen, after we tap continue, we'll choose our new eSIM as our mobile data provider. So for me, that's business. And this means that our phone will use the new FlexiRoam eSIM. And as long as we have allow mobile data switching toggled off, then it will not use our regular primary SIM. So if you use iMessage or, or FaceTime, then your phone will be using your new eSIM and you don't need to worry about being charged. Go ahead and tap continue. And now we're almost finished, except we just need to do some housekeeping. So go to your settings, tap mobile or cellular service, then under SIMs, find your new eSIM. Again, for me, that's business. Now, first we want to tap mobile plan label and change the name to something more recognizable. I'll call this FlexiRoam hyphen UK one and then tap done and go back to this page. Here, I'm just going to check network selection to see what we have available, but I recommend leaving this as automatic because the great thing about FlexiRoam is that they have lots of networks available. So as you can see, there's actually five here in the UK. And by keeping automatic toggled on, I'm allowing the eSIM to connect automatically to whichever has the strongest signal. The last thing we need to do is go back to mobile or cellular service and just for peace of mind, double check that our primary SIM has data roaming toggled off. You can also check here by tapping in mobile data and confirming that your new FlexiRoam eSIM is selected and that allow mobile data switching is toggled off. That's all done. Then your phone will not use your primary or normal carrier for roaming and your eSIM 
is now ready to use. If you'd like to also be able to make calls and text while you're abroad, perhaps you're traveling for a while and you don't want to be charged a premium by your normal provider, then you can get one of these plans from FlexiRoam. They have loads available and they include text messaging and local minutes, which cover you for making calls to or from one of these 110 countries. And they also have international minutes for any other country. So once you've chosen your plan, just check out and purchase. And just like the first eSIM we installed, you're gonna to need to scroll down and tap go to my plans and it should appear here. If it hasn't yet, just give it a few moments, try refreshing and it will eventually show up. And because this is a voice and text plan, we do need to install another eSIM. So if you tap my sims, you'll see a new one and you'll be able to then tap install. Process is very similar. We'll hit allow and then continue. And once it says mobile plan setup complete, we'll tap done. So here we have two options primary, which is our normal SIM, and now secondary, which is our FlexiRoam voice plan. And we're going to do things differently because we do want to receive or make calls and texts. We're going to select secondary as our default line. We'll then tap continue and keep primary for iMessage and FaceTime. And with mobile data for now, we'll keep this as secondary, but we will change it shortly. Tap continue and then my plans. And then at the bottom, you should see activate plan and you can either have it start immediately or schedule it to start at a later date. I'll select activate now. And once that's done, we just want to immediately go to our settings, tap mobile or cellular service and find the new eSIM, which for me is currently labeled secondary. And we're just going to rename it to something more recognizable. I'll call this FlexiRoam hyphen calls and text, then go back and tap mobile data and now we're going to reselect our original FlexiRoam data eSIM, which if you remember, I called FlexiRoam hyphen UK one. Finally, if you want to find out what your number is, then just go back to mobile or cellular service, tap on your new FlexiRoam calls and text eSIM, and it should be visible under my number. Although for me, this did take a few hours before it appeared. So if you do need it immediately, once you've activated the eSIM, just make a phone call or text someone you know and then ask them what the number is. So I've installed a lot of eSIMs and to me it does feel quite straightforward, but I understand that some people may find it confusing or perhaps even overwhelming. So feel free to comment below if you need any help or have any questions. Alternatively, you can reach out to FlexiRoam via their in-app support or through WhatsApp, Facebook, or email. And if you'd like to learn more about their features and the various plans that they have available, then check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.